On February the 17th, 2000, there was an interesting and provocative article in the Lynchburg Ledger newspaper entitled The Biologist. The author of the article was journalist George Kaler. George Kaler is a journalist and radio personality. He is a graduate of Clarion State University and taught 9th and 11th grade English for many years. Back to the Lynchburg Ledger article, The Biologist. In this article, George Kaler interviewed a molecular biologist who made a most amazing admission. This molecular biologist addresses the subject of the complexity of DNA and human code. This is his field of expertise. He is recognized by his peers as a prominent member of the scientific community. Following are the significant excerpts from that interview. Nothing is taken out of context and no pertinent information that would change the nature of his responses is left out. Kaler is the interviewer, MB is Jim, the molecular biologist. Because Jim is a prominent and recognized member of the scientific community, it was agreed that his real name would not be used in the article. In a moment, you will understand why. Sadly, the Lynchburg Ledger is no longer available online. However, this article was archived and available online for many years. It is heavily referenced and attested to on the net. It has been verified as authentic. I could find nothing to refute the authenticity of this article or the interview. George Kaler is still an active journalist and radio personality. Following is the revealing and pertinent part of the interview. Kaler, do you believe that the information, DNA, evolved? MB, George, nobody I know in my profession believes it evolved. It was engineered by genius beyond genius, and such information could not have been written any other way. The paper and the ink did not write the book. Knowing what we know, it is ridiculous to think otherwise. Kaler, have you ever stated that in a public lecture or in any of your public writings? MB, no, I just say it evolved. To be a molecular biologist requires one to hold on to two insanities at all times. One, it would be insane to believe in evolution when you can see the truth for yourself. Two, it would be insane to say you don't believe in evolution. All government work, research grants, papers, big college lectures, everything would stop. I'd be out of a job or relegated to the outer fringes where I couldn't even earn a decent living. Kaler, I hate to say it, but that sounds intellectually dishonest. MB, the work I do in genetic research is honorable. We will find the cures to many of mankind's worst diseases. But in the meantime, we have to live with the elephant in the room. Kaler, what elephant in the room? MB, creation design. It's like an elephant in the living room. It moves around, takes up space, loudly trumpets, bumps into us, knocks things over, eats a ton of hay, and smells like an elephant. And yet, we have to swear that it isn't even there. The following is a quote from George Kaler. I apologize for not knowing enough to refute the evidence for creation, nor clever enough to support the theory of evolution. Knowing what I do know about computers and software programs, I know my computer cannot write the four billion bit program for the DNA molecule, no matter how much time I give it. I don't believe pond scum could write the program either. I apologize for not having enough faith to believe that it can. And so, the elephant remains in the room and because of fear and because of peer pressure and because of money concerns the elephant will probably never be identified by most scientists our thanks to this brave molecular biologist who would dare to speak the truth